Good morning, first graders. Welcome back to another week of science. We are starting something new this week, and I am very, very excited about it. So last week we learned new ways, we learned about new ways to move, right? And we looked at some videos and some pictures of things moving. And if I said this movement is called nodding your head, you said, okay. This week, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to question our learning. So for instance, if I say cheetahs are the fastest animals in the world, what comes to mind? Do you actually believe they're the fastest animals in the world? Do you want to believe me right away? Or do you want to maybe find out? Either is acceptable. But this week is when we find out why things happen the way they do. I have a pen. I think he's awesome. His name is Bruce, obviously. And Bruce has a fun trick. He is a functioning pen, so I can write with him. But he also can chomp. Now, who knows why Bruce can chomp? Do you know why? What if I said, because he can? Is that being a good scientist? Is that providing good reasoning or a good excuse for why Bruce can chomp? It's not. It's not a good excuse for why Bruce can chomp. So this is when we learn to challenge and question the things we see. Okay, Bruce can chomp because of this little lever right here. I don't know if some of you saw me using this lever or not. But if you pull down on this lever, watch me. If you pull down on this lever, his mouth opens. When the lever stops, his mouth stops. When I release the lever, his jaw goes back up. So if the lever goes down, his jaw goes down. I've now done some investigation and discovered some reason why Bruce's mouth opens. Okay, that's what we are going to begin doing this week. Now today, I simply have a discussion available for you. I just want to know what you think. Feel free to respond any way you see fit. Okay, so you can write, you can draw, but if you draw, I would like you to either write along with it or I would like you to provide a voice comment or you can just leave a voice comment. But I want you to be able to justify your answers. Tell me why you think your answer is correct or why that system, that whatever we happen to be talking about, why your answer is what it is. We can't just say, because that's not how science works. I do actually think cheetahs are the fastest land mammals. I believe I read that somewhere in a piece of scientific journal. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm remembering. So if I said, absolutely, without a doubt, cheetahs are the fastest, I would have to provide you with an example. I would provide you, I would show you that journal article to help explain to you why I thought the way I thought. Okay, so that's your job today. Why do you think we need to provide proof? And throughout the rest of the week, we will continue to look at different ways to share our reasoning. Please do one page at a time, one page of your seesaw activity each day, because if you do the other pages before I've taught them to you, 
you're not going to have the correct answers and you'll just need to redo it. And we don't want that to happen. Your time is valuable. My time is valuable. So one science activity a day and then come back to me the next day. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.